What's up guys? It's your Toy Bro Rob here. Got an awesome video for you guys today. My Toy Bro Matt couldn't be here today, so I called up my boy Daryl and I was like, hey man, you come shoot a video with me? And he's like, sure. And here he is. What's up? <laughs> what are you doing, man? How's it going? As good as it can be. Man, a few words. We, As you guys know, season six series premiere tonight. Uh, so we're going to hit you guys with a totally awesome Walking Dead video, show you a couple of our figures that we got, just a couple of them because we have so many. Uh, if Matt was here, he would totally yell at me and be like, we got to put them all in. And I'd be like, we can't. So we, we're going to do it without them. We've got some awesome figures. You ready? How many walkers you kill? None. What, what about you? About ten on the way here. You're making me nervous, man. I brought you a present. <laughs> Dude, are those real? What do you think? Dude, those smell. They Get those smell things real. out of here, man. Speaking of things that smell, bro, you need a bath, man. What are you talking about? Nah, man, you smell like old feet wrapped in dirty cheese. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? Dude, you're killing me. Why are you so mean? It's so all right. Let, let's get into the video before Daryl gets out of control here. First up, we got Rick Grimes from the TV show, and we got Rick Grimes from the comic book. Uh, they're similar, and they're not. This one actually with the hat is uh, Walgreens exclusive. Uh, I like him a lot. He's kind of in a funky position. I kind of like the comic book one better. He just looks more real. But I mean, everybody likes Rick Grimes either way. What do you think, man? Where's his hand? What? What happened to his hand? I don't know what happened to his hand. I think the governor cut it off. Really? Yeah. I didn't see that in the TV series. That was just a comic book, huh? Yeah. Nice. Daryl, you got some good information. I'm glad you came along today, man. I got a lot of time to read. I, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Uh, oh, we got, we got Dwight. Now, Dwight is supposed to be Daryl from the TV show. Uh, these guys totally don't look alike at all. Dwight, he's got his head shaved and this huge gigantic scar down the side of his face. And Daryl has this long flowing hair with totally unchiseled features and he looks like a little girl. What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, man. I'm joking. I'm just pulling your leg. That's what I thought. You're totally handsome. Chiseled features. Chicks love you. That's right. They're actually beating on the door right now trying to get in. All right, next up, we got Abraham Ford. Name? I, I kind of agree. Not a huge fan of Abraham. Uh, this is this is the comic book one. I don't think we have uh, the TV series one. But uh, why has he got a pitchfork, man? For sticking zombies. Uh, would it be maybe for this zombie, the pin cushion zombie? possibility. Dude, it's one of my favorite zombies, man. You could, he is pretty cool. If we could take him out of the package, he's got all kinds of things that you can stick out of him. Knives and pitchforks and hammers and axes and he has spots for everything. So you could take him out of the package and display him with all that stuff. crossbow arrows. Uh, I think somebody, I think Abraham took him out before you even got near because you were kind of falling behind. I mean, you're probably hanging out with that old lady with the short hair. I know y'all y'all got a thing going on? You want to die, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I know. You like Beth, but guess what, dude? Beth is dead. Worm food. <laughs> she is definitely worm food. Do you, wa you watch a lot of TV? No? We don't have TV no more. What do you do for fun? Kill zombies. Yeah? Pretty much. What about people that piss you off? They die, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, remind me not to piss you off any more than I already yeah, am. Yeah, you probably should Another one of my favorite zombies, we got the punk rock zombie. This dude's totally awesome. He comes with a mohawk and a guitar. And I could just totally see him walking around in the zombie apocalypse with his guitar and his mohawk all covered in blood and brains and guts. And until then, it meets me. I was going to say, until it meets Daryl Dixon coming across, putting an arrow right in his head. You said, why? You ever thought about becoming friends with one of these zombies? No? What if you did like Michonne and then like cut their arms and their jaw off and chain them around your neck? I ain't gotta do that. Oh, you're just you're just that badass. Yeah, no doubt. I'm, I'm not gonna you. disagree with you on that one. All right, um, Paul, Jesus Monroe. This guy is from the comic book. Uh, I think he joins up with Rick's group 
Is it in the prison? Or after the Alexandria safe zone. Alright on. But he's 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 pretty awesome too. He knows a lot of karate and he's a special weapons expert and like tactical stealthy stuff, you yeah, know. He's kinda like a ninja. Yeah. <laughs> he's a ninja. The equivalent you... of me. <laughs> so he's uh he you're definitely not as cool. So you're like a redneck ninja. No? You're pushing your luck today. <laughs> Come on, Daryl, you know, and no, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> All right, moving on. Uh, Penny Blake, guys, the governor's daughter, all zombied out. Look at all the accessories she comes with. She's got a little bloody bucket that you can stick, like, heads and limbs hanging out of if you're a display her. But uh, really cool one. I like this one a lot. Uh, what do you think, man? You like you like this one? It's related to the governor? No. Oh, all right. Kill my brother. Well, I got a little surprise for you, man. Speaking of your brother, I know it's probably a touchy subject for you, but uh, isn't it convenient that I have you and your brother in a box? You know, he's in this box. He's not worm food. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just that Merle. I like Merle, man. Merle is cool. He was a hero. He was a hero. Yeah. Did he go out in a blaze of glory? He did. I think he was a zombie when he died, man. No, he died before he became a zombie. Are you sure? But if we were with him, we would have killed them all. Yeah? That was a good episode. I like that one. You did a good job on that one. Yeah. Cool. All right, uh, we also got... Um, oh, look at this stunning figure we have here. Daryl Dixon with his chopper. Everybody knows Daryl Dixon. Rides his motorcycle. Loves his Harley. I think you built your own in the last season. The new one. Yeah. And uh, what happened to you at the end of that season, man? Where'd you go? With Aaron. Where, where'd you go, though? I want to know. To a food plant. <laughs> <laughs> we got trapped by the wolves. <laughs> what do you think about this figure, man? That made this in your likeness. It's a cool figure. Is it? I mean, I'm a lot better looking than that. But it's still a cool figure. Well, I don't agree, but you know, to each his own. <laughs> also got uh because we have our special guest, I had to bust out these Daryl Dixon mystery minis and some of my other favorites, you know. We got Merle here and Rick Grimes and Michonne. And I'm gonna squeeze her in here somewhere. But uh I think that's about it for this episode, as far as the figures go. <laughs> you got a lot of hate in your heart, sir. <laughs> Alright, guys. Uh, check us out on Facebook. Like our page. Subscribe on YouTube. Uh, Toy Bros out.